Like most of the, the shootings are young black men killing other young black men. Is that not correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Much more than, than what the cops do. Why doesn't anybody talk about that? Well, I mean, uh, why aren't there, uh, you know, a, a, a hundred giant black celebrities who would have the respect of those people saying, what are you doing to yourselves? Why are you killing each other? This I mean, is no I just, way to live. This dishonors our community. Come on. Uh, we're better than this. Right. I feel like it's never addressed. That was Bill Maher proving that it's not only lies that make it halfway around the world before the truth puts its pants on, it's short-sighted perspectives and narrow points of view, too. Not that I haven't heard something like this before, but the damage was already done by the time that I saw this clip on social media. Eric here posted this video on Twitter, where it racked up almost 2 million views. Meanwhile, Kevin said, quote, Bill Maher with quite possibly the most important and poignant questions ever asked on real time. But I have a question. How would Bill, Eric, or Kevin know what we as black people do and do not talk about? I mean, statistically, the average white person only has one black friend. Plus, the average white resident lives in neighborhoods that are overwhelmingly white. I'll get back to this in a minute, but however, at least Bill Maher was saying all this to a black person. And what I would uh, want to observe is that any structural move that you want to make requires a majority of the people to get behind it, requires democratic okay. politics to get behind it. And in order to get a majority of the voters in Chicago or any place else to get behind anything that's going to cost them money, they have to feel safe. They have to feel that the people who are in charge are on their side. And that's why Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson needs to come and give speeches in which he says this is contemptible behavior we won't tolerate it in our city. The reason we have cops is precisely in order to stop this from happening. And if you do it on, our, on my watch, you're going to go to jail. We know that police are going to try their absolute best to put killers, especially black killers, in prison. That's without question. So much so that black men are seven times more likely to be wrongfully convicted for murder. Now, I don't know exactly where economist Glenn Laurie, a very smart man, stands with the black people don't say or do anything about black on black crime thing. But as a general rule, if a black person feels that way, then they're telling you that they aren't talking about it and aren't doing anything about it. Believe them. With that said, the Roots Michael Harriet responded with a Twitter thread explaining how he can't answer this question. Why aren't there 100 black celebrities saying, what are you doing to yourselves for Bill Maher? But you can. He points out, when people say black lives matter, they aren't talking about an organization. They are talking about an idea, a principle. But even if they were talking about the organization and they hate it, they still don't have to worry. Even so, see, most of the people reading this don't have a Black Lives Matter chapter in their city. There are about 40 official chapters nationwide. Compare that to the organizations trying to stop violence in their community. The point is, there are more black people fighting gun violence than there are trying to police the police, which is important to do too because police brutality and extrajudicial police killings clearly impact black communities hoping for justice with few places to go in order to get it. It betrays trust. And that justice should also be extended to the police, by the way. Implying that black people can't both police the police and contend with violent crime in our own communities because one happens way more than the other is disingenuous at best. Look, I was 10 the first time someone I loved was shot and killed. 10 years old. A friend of mine, we called him Bo, was murdered in the South Park apartment complex on the west side of Columbus. I still remember where I was when my friend Sean called to tell me the bad news. Bo was his cousin. And notice that I didn't say the first time someone I knew was shot and killed. I was even younger for that. With that said, I guess people who agree with Bill Maher are supposed to believe that family and friends of the people who are victims of violent crime just move on and forget about it. We don't talk about it. We don't want to solve the problem. Despite the documented evidence that black people donate more time and money in general, but especially to stop the violence, how much we care is evident in polls and surveys and how we vote. Groups and committees and organizations, many of which you've never heard of, are formed for the cause. These examples are also from Michael Harriet. With that said, here's how we're going to tie this whole thing together, including 
the black celebrity thing. The first Stop the Violence movement I ever heard of was a song called Self Destruction. It was made in 1989 from the biggest rappers at that time. We're All in the Same Gang came out a year later. I was a little boy then. I have a sister that's nine years older than me, so whatever music she listened to, I listened to. And that's for anyone who thinks that rap music and culture is the problem. The problem with violent crime in segregated communities with concentrated poverty started before the invention of hip hop. Y'all know that when you control for these things, it almost eliminates the disparities in violent crime among white and black people, right? Scientific studies reflect that truth and in many ways, rappers are reporting what they see and experience. So this, why aren't they talking about it take from Bill Maher is lazy. Does he not have editors or writers or researchers? He could have simply admitted that he doesn't have black friends, doesn't live near black people, and doesn't listen to black people. How would he know what problems we are or are not talking about? I actually gave Fox credit for doing the bare minimum when they conducted this interview with a former homicide detective. Find out why by clicking the link to the video in the description. If you're looking for more of my content, go to the Jeff Wiggins hashtag. I'm also at my YouTube channel, we're gonna be all right. Thanks for watching. My architect knows Japanese.